This video will help you install your thermostat if you do not have a wire labeled C, but you do have a gas, oil, or propane conventional forced air system and a wire labeled G. If you use this option, the G wire will be substituted for your C wire at both your thermostat and heating and cooling system, which will remove your ability to turn your system fan on. However, the fan will still run when your system runs. Please refer to your local building code before using this wiring option. When looking at your old thermostat, you may notice a wire that looks like this, known as a jumper wire. If you have a jumper wire, take note of which terminals it is connecting. Often jumper wires will need to be transferred to your new thermostat for proper function. However, your Wi-Fi thermostat comes with a jumper wire connecting the R and RC terminals, which should be kept unless you have both R and RC wires. If you have both of these wires, you can remove the jumper wire from the new thermostat. Next, use the supplied sticky tags to label each wire according to the letter on the terminal in which it is inserted. Do not label the wires based on their color, because wire color does not necessarily indicate the wire's function. After labeling your wires, use a screwdriver to loosen the terminals and pull the wires out. Now you can remove the wall plate of your old thermostat. When removing it, take care to ensure none of the wire labels fall off and that none of the wires fall through the wall opening. Here's a helpful hint. You might want to wrap the wires around a pencil to prevent them from falling back through the wall after you remove your old wall plate. Mount and connect the new thermostat. Now it is time to begin installing your new thermostat. First, separate the Wi-Fi thermostat from its wall plate. You'll want to set the thermostat aside and begin mounting the wall plate. Position it so the wire hole is centered and pull the wires through the hole. Now is a good time to verify it is level. Using a pencil, mark the positions of both screw holes on the wall. If you don't already have holes in the areas you marked, you'll want to make pilot holes for the screws and anchors. If you are mounting the thermostat on drywall or plaster, use the drill bit indicated in your user guide. Once you have pilot holes, use a hammer to tap the anchors into the pilot holes. After inserting the anchors, it's time to attach the wall plate. Position the wall plate so its holes are over the anchors and insert the screws. You can use a screwdriver or drill to tighten the screws. If you want, you can also level the wall plate again before tightening up the screws. Since you determined earlier that you have a gas, oil, or propane system, and you have a wire labeled G, you can use your G wire as your C wire to provide the required power to your thermostat. To do this, connect all wires to their designated letter terminals at your wall plate, except the wire labeled G. Instead, insert the G wire into the C terminal on your wall plate. Please note, that you will lose your ability to independently turn your system fan on by doing this, but that's okay, because you have a gas, oil, or propane heating and cooling system, which will control the fan when the system is running. You will see that your new Wi-Fi thermostat has a jumper wire connecting the R and RC terminals. Keep this wire in place, unless you have both R and RC wires. If you have both wires, remove the jumper wire and insert the wires into their respective terminals. Then go to your heating and cooling system's terminal block and look for the wire in the G terminal there. The terminal block is located in your heating and cooling system. Not all terminal blocks will look the same, but they should have the same letter designations. Move the G wire to the C terminal at your terminal block. For your system to function properly, you will also need to run a jumper wire from the Y terminal to the G terminal at the terminal block. If you do not have a jumper wire, you can make one out of 18-gauge wire, which can be found at your local hardware store. Moving the G-wire to the C terminal at both the thermostat base and the heating and cooling system terminal block provides the required power from your home to your thermostat. The jumper wire ensures your fan still runs while your system runs. When you are done at the terminal block, make sure you put the heating and cooling system door back on properly so that the interlock switch allows the power to be turned on for the system and thermostat display. After you finish connecting all the wires, push any excess wire back into the wall opening. Now, insert the coin cell battery included in the Wi-Fi thermostat package. 
make sure you have the correct polarity lined up and insert accordingly. The battery will slightly stick out from the slot when it is fully inserted. Note that this battery does not power the thermostat, so the display will not power up until you connect the thermostat to your wall plate and turn your system power back on. Attach the thermostat to the wall plate by lining up the pins and snapping it into place. Switch the power back on for your heating and cooling system at the circuit breaker box or the system switch. This should power up your thermostat's display, which will prompt you to set the date and time on the thermostat. Setting up the thermostat functions. Now that you have successfully installed the thermostat, you need to set up the basic functions. It is especially important that you set up function 0170 so your heating and cooling system functions properly. To get started, press the area on the thermostat that says System. You'll see several blank buttons appear at the bottom of the display. Press and hold the center blank button for five seconds until the screen changes. You'll want to cycle through the functions until you reach function 0170. The other functions can be changed at your discretion, but 0170 needs to be accurately entered in order for your thermostat to function properly. This needs to be done before you connect your thermostat to your home's Wi-Fi network. Cycle through the functions by pressing the up and down arrows next to the four-digit number on the left. You can change settings for date, thermostat name, system type, and other advanced features. For more detail on changing options for any function, refer to the system setup section of your user guide. When you reach function 0170, you must enter your system type. The default setting is programmed for the most common system type, which is a conventional single-stage forced air system with an air conditioner. To determine your system type, refer to the type of wiring configuration you use during installation, or visit wifi thermostat.com slash help and support. If you have a different system type, such as a heat pump or multiple-stage conventional system, you'll need to change the settings and options under function 0170. Refer to the system settings section of your user guide for the list of options and number combinations. To simplify your setup, only those functions that apply to your settings will appear. When you've finished making changes, press Done to save and exit. Congratulations, you are now ready to start enrolling your thermostat with your home's Wi-Fi network. For assistance with this process, Watch the video on wifi thermostat.com slash installation videos called Wi-Fi Thermostat Wi-Fi Enrollment.